Hello and welcome to another Whiskey Review with me, the Whiskey Novice. Thank you for joining me for review number 158, I believe, in which we're still looking at some whiskies from Middleton, down there around about Cork in the south of Ireland. Now, I did say whiskies from Middleton, not malts from Middleton, and the reason I said that is because there's not an awful lot of malts from Middleton. Generally, whiskies, single grain, single pot, still not an awful lot of malts and nothing's changed here actually in this case we're looking at a blend the jameson black barrel proof so what is jameson black barrel proof well it's jameson black barrel right but turned up a bit uh, simple terms it is jameson black barrel now the difference being Jameson Black, let's find the differences here. There's only a couple of differences, really. The Jameson Black Barrel bottled at 40%. Great whiskey, great blend. It's, it's a blend, as you know, as is the case here. Jameson Black Barrel proof. The same blend, but bottled at 50% and non-chill filtered. So you're looking at the same thing where they take a... It's a blend of malt, grain and uh, pot still whiskies put together. But the, the, it's the same, there's a double char. They take one of the, that's the cask, I think it's the malt element. It's either the malt or the grain element, or maybe the pot still element, and they double char the cask. I can't remember which it is. But the thing you will find about this is, and I, I'll throw a link in here from where I uh, reviewed the, the, the black barrel, that an awful lot of the notes remain the same. They remain the same. It's just ramped up. So, bottled at 50% as opposed to 40%. Priced at around 50 to 60 pounds as opposed to if you're not getting an on offer. Sometimes you'll see the black barrel on offer, the standard black barrel. If you get it an offer, yes, you can get it down around the sort of £27 mark, but you're usually looking at the £30 to £40 mark. So at 30 to 45 this 50 to 60 So what happens? How can they justify ramping that up? Well, this was a limited edition. Uh, it's still out there in the wild, but it will, I imagine, disappear eventually. The, the black barrel, the standard black barrel, will hang around. This will go away. I imagine, uh, as I said, bottled at 50%, non-chill filtered. In this case, the other one is chill filtered. So there's your differences. Price, ABV, chill filtration. Is it worth, and I know most people who review this ask the same question, is it worth that extra? And you're talking 20 pounds generally. Rich, creamy, and fruity. I said exactly the same words, I believe, about the black barrel, the standard black barrel. Because it, it had it and it, it, it had those rich, creamy, fruity notes, as does this. This has quite a sharp citrus note then as well. Um it's lime and a, a touch of orange. There's a, a bready note, a slight bready note, along with loads of fruit cake notes. Red berries, cranberry, slight hints of cherry. And once again, with another one that I got on the black barrel, a slight musty note, which I imagine is coming from that uh, char, that extra char going into those casks. Lovely, lovely, sweet and sour, and even a little bitter arrival. Thick and coating, fudgy, 
which I believe I also said about the Black Pearl. Dried fruit. But along with that dried fruit, there's also loads of sharp notes. Sharp citrusy notes of the lime and the orange. Now, when I say about them being sharp notes, they balance really well out with the dried fruit notes. So they, as much as they're sharp, they're citrus, you know they're there. They don't overplay themselves because they're well balanced out. So it's all very good. It's all very balanced, all, you know, so far so good. finish medium to long with a hint of that sweet char playing in the background so yeah definitely a uh, so far so good I'm gonna add three drops of water there not a lot triple distilled something that they they always seem to throw about there with Irish whiskey I've started to think that what a lot, an awful lot of what triple distillation means to me is it's a little fragile in that add too much water and you will drown it. So how much is too much water? Well, that's up to you to figure out. And in a lot of cases, very little. So just be careful where the whiskey, where the water is concerned. Uh, especially in a lot of Irish whiskies or triple distilled scotches, etc. Just go easy with it. Find a level, put a couple of drops in there, see what it does. If it's not enough, add more. Yeah, it, it took very little there. And it's, it is changing. Loads, of, loads more citrus, fresh linen. And something that I find synonymous with Jameson. Uh, slight hints of coffee, ground coffee and chocolate. Uh, it's a note that I love about Jameson. While we're on that subject, it's still one of my favourite cheap blends on the market. I know Jameson pretty much, if you excuse the pun, saturated the market. One of the, the, the biggest selling whiskies in the world. There's a reason why it's one of the biggest selling whiskies in the world. It's because it's a good, cheap blend. It's affordable, and it's a good one. This is the standard Jameson I'm talking about, not this. Sort of getting off the subject a bit there, but I'm getting hints of that Jameson signature in this. Ground coffee and chocolate. Couple of drops of water. Rich. Fudgy. I said all that before, but it remains so. But you're bringing in this roundness. Still loads of citrus, still loads of dried fruit, but it just slides down so easily. That little drop of water. Just diluting it a wee bit. Finish remains quite long. Remains creamy. Remains sharp citrusy in the back. Still getting that little char touch in there. So look, yes. Yes, it is worth, I do believe it is worth the money. It is worth investing in. Uh, getting your hands on one of them wherever you are in the world might be that wee bit more difficult here it sort of looked for a while like as if it was going to be hard enough to get your hands on a bottle and then it started to appear on a more regular occurrence so you know it may be around for a while I'm not sure I can't say too much here I don't, I don't know but is it worth getting if you can get it? I would definitely say 100% I would say if this if you see this in a bar wherever you are in the world order a dram of it you will enjoy it it, it, it is good stuff I, I guarantee you will enjoy it 
as a blend, it's a cracker. So yeah, definitely. If you see it, pick yourself up a, a, a bottle. If you get it at the right price, see it in a bar, get a dram of it. Let's move on from that, shall we? So yes, I like this. I do like it. I like the standard black bottle. When I'm out drinking with my whiskey chums, you know who you are, uh, we tend to drink Guinness and the standard black barrel because it's an affordable dram. It's a great, affordable blend. The black barrel proof would be pushed up in price. It's great, but I'm not gonna spend that money on it in a bar. What's the point, really? Uh, you know, when the, when the standard black barrel is a good dram anyway. But I like this, so uh, what would I recommend? Well, I'm not, I'm not moving away from Middleton for this one. I'm gonna stay there. And probably actually, had I had a bottle, I would probably recommend the standard green spot, but I don't currently. This is the green spot Chateau Montalena from, uh, well, from Middleton, obviously. But it gets a wine finish. It gets a, uh, a white Zinfandel finish, it does. And it is uh, from the Californian wine group there in Chateau Montalena and uh, in Napa. And it's, this is quality. This is a quality dram. And the thing is, in certain places, these are of a price. If you can get your hands on this, they're off a of price. They're, they're not a lot of difference in price there at all. And the thing is that I would say that the green spot shot them on the line. Well, look, it's a, it's a single pot still, bottled at 46%, all singing, all dancing. So you get it for the same price as this, it's better. It is better. The standard green spot mm, would be on a par with this. I would say. So it's just a suggestion. If you got this, you liked it, and uh, you want to see where else you could move, I would recommend Green Spot, Single Pot Still, or one of the wine finishes, if you can get them. Actually, yeah, one of the wine finishes, if you can get them. So yeah, no, look. A great blend, uh, a great representation of Middleton. I've, that bottle again, please people stop putting whiskey in opaque bottles and that one is very opaque. I have no idea how much is in that. As a matter of fact, I thought there was more in it whenever I went to do tasting notes and stuff like that because I didn't think I'd spent an awful lot of time with this, but it would appear I spent more time with it than I thought. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very, very much to my patrons. Anybody who wishes to join that group, the details are in the video description below. It is always appreciated that you're here. Thank you so, so much. Till the next time, my friends. Here's your good health. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please click and subscribe to be notified of further content.